Hi guys, today is my first requested video. Please stay with me. Disclaimer. This video for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. This is no training or tutorial. Do not do this procedure at home. Always seek professional advice. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oksana. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. Today is my first, I would say, officially requested video because I recently did video one year of DIYs and in that video I talk about pretty much everything that I did during this year. And uh, I've been asked to do a uh, kind of follow-up video on the procedures that I enjoy the most and I would say I saw the most visible result. And thank you very much, first and most, for requesting this video because uh, to me it's kind of acknowledgement that someone truly enjoyed my channel. And in fact, guys, thank you so, so very much for the major support I'm getting for my channel. I believe I'm right now somewhere over 4,000 subscribers, which is exceptional. And um, when I'm gonna hit my 5,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do another uh, giveaway. I would say kind of major giveaway. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. Uh, once again, share my channel with your friends who is into DIYs, etc but let's uh, talk about um, the things that I want to mention in today's video because as I said I did so many things I did threads I did uh, lipolytics injections I did different types of skin boosters hyaluronic acid skin booster PDRN skin boosters I did uh, some toxin uh, mostly it's Puchulax, and then I did Saxenda um, I did some uh, fillers, uh, mostly it was a Tesoro fillers that I did, uh, not many, I mean, um, did, haven't done really much of the fillers, but I mean, these kind of procedures that I did this in this year. And let's start the, the procedures that I saw the most, most visible uh, result, it's actually Saxenda. And uh, I recently received a comments on my channel saying that, oh my gosh, I ordered Saxenda, what a waste of money, etc, uh, etc. Et so I am on Saxenda right now um, four months, I would say. And within these four months, this is my three completely empty. So these ones, they are completely empty. And if you see, the plunger is right at the end, so it means it's completely used. And I specifically specifically didn't throw them away, just to, in fact, if I maybe some time have to show, so you can see the plunge is at the end. And this is my third one, so the plunger all the way to the end. So it means I fully used three um, syringes. And right now I'm on my fourth one, and the fourth one I'm kind of halfway through. So you can see I'm halfway through. You can see the plunger right there in the middle. So I'm about halfway through this one. And today is the first day when I actually increase my dosage to 1.8. I receive also um, question how many, you know, dosages inside one of the syringes. For me, hard to say, just once again, depends how small or big your dosage, because the maximum you can put um, uh, three for the dosage. And uh, to be honest, guys, uh, people saying that um, sometimes they feel not as great, but I went really very, very slow. I had a dosage of 0.6 literally for two months even more and then for another two months pretty much i had the dosage 1.2 and as i said today is the first day i went to 1.8 and the reason for that because i'm kind of reached the plateau so my initial weight and i will include the picture was uh, 150.8 and my uh, latest weight the lowest weight that i was able to sustain is 135.4 and it's like 15.4 pounds I lost on three and a half syringes and it would be roughly about 350 dollars 
I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> you know, for such a price, you cannot even hire a nutritionist or anybody who can give you best advice on, um, you know, how to lose a weight gradually. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'm taking this back because I shouldn't say that because I shouldn't disregard any professional because obviously if you need the true help of professional, like, you know, a nutritionist, etc., you go ahead and require. But when we are talking about the money, just specific money, for that amount of money, losing uh, like, you know, um, 15 or pretty much almost 15 and a half pounds, it's, to me, it's exceptional. And I'm very, very happy with my progress. And I remember initially when I was uh, just planning even to do this, I was kind of saying that I would be really happy if I just only hit 139 or even just 139.9. As long as I'm not 140 any longer, I will be happy. And right now I'm at 135.4. But as I said, the last two weeks, I kind of almost on the plateau. I cannot go any lower anymore. And I decided to increase the dosage. And for me, I would say it's indications that I have to increase the dosage because if I'm still losing weight, I don't see the reason why I should increase the dosage. You know what I mean? Because right now I hit an absolute plateau and I'm thinking, yes, it's time to increase the dosage. So as I said, my number one, I truly see visible result because I did some, um, you know, lipolytic fat injection. I saw some what a result, but such a visible result in numbers, I only was able to achieve with Saxenda. And I highly, highly re recommend, guys. As I said, you can get it at Ace Custom, And quite often they have sales. Just recently they had a sale. And I once again stuck myself with this, um, you know, um, beauty pro product i would say <laughs> shouldn't call this beauty product but obviously it's helping me to you know achieve my goal and once again i'm paying with my own money don't think that i was kind of getting this you know for free so highly highly recommend really happy uh, with this product the next i would say my most favorite product is um, butulax or toxins i would say because in my one year video i also talk about this in kind of uh, details because i said previously when i did it um, you know in professional offices like you know any toxins they kind of did almost kind of like pox look uh, of eyebrow and i absolutely hate that look frankly and right now, as I said, uh, I'm doing this myself and I'm kind of trying to achieve more natural. And right now I did that um, uh, beginning of January, mid-January, and right now we are pretty much close to the mid-April. So it's like three and a half, close to four months. I already able to slightly move my forehead, but it's still kind of like, very very subtle result i see and i'm absolutely happy i'm absolutely happy the only one suggestions if i could do, uh, give you um when you experiment in the toxin because like let's say if you did something wrong um you know you may end up with kind of not the best look so my suggestions always go less before you go more and if you like what you see, you can slightly improve, etc. But don't go very, very aggressive with injections because, you know, once they settle there, it's going to take a few months for them to kind of go away. So go very, very, very slow. And But anyway, my number two that I'm very, very happy with what I was able to achieve is my uh, toxins. And I'm really, really enjoying doing this uh, myself. Number uh, three is treads and I really did already lots of treads and I was able to somewhat I mean obviously I still have some pre jowls over here but I truly believe I was able to somewhat improve you know the the shape of my face the oval on my face because the jaw line specifically and uh, because you know the the older we get the more it's all kind of sagging <laughs> and going down and one thing once again i did video on my channel everything that you need to know about the treads i'm gonna link it somewhere over here um one things i noticed um with the treads um as I said, it's one of my bestest and one of my worstest procedure because um, 
you know if it goes well it goes well if it doesn't go well uh, then it doesn't go well especially if you go very very shallow I had an accident when I go very very shallow on my jawline and pretty much the threads were poking and I have to remove it then I did a couple of um, removal of the threads on my thighs when I did them I'm gonna include also pictures because I would say with the treads, if you are doing them on the areas that you move the most, like for example, on the jaw, especially right here, because you're moving all the time. So there is a possibility of the treads going through the skin and poking out. And that's what I experienced. The same things when I did on my thighs, especially if I do lots of exercise, because I love doing Zumba and it's lots of movement, lots of jumping, the treads may shift. And I find that um, I had a little bit of accident with the treads on my thighs they're pretty much just poking through the skin and I, I simply remove them in fact I actually have the tread let me show you I thought just in case if I gonna need it to show you I actually kept the tread you see the tread this is you can see clearly that it's been used because it was somehow already bended you know by the body and that's what was um, you know pretty much poking off my skin and uh, the little end was poking and then I pull it out and that's that's what's happened so as I said uh, when you see something like that poking out don't try to push it in my suggestion just you know remove it it means it wasn't accepted by your body and it could happen sometime and it's okay you know so uh, as long as you see such things just remove it but as I said when they are actually accepted by the body I can see very very nice progress and with the treads it's a gradual progress it's not like let's say with botox that you're gonna see uh, or butulax i would say more with toxin you're gonna see result in seven days this um, with the treads you're gonna need several months to see any major improvement but as i said it's pluses and minuses but overall i'm really really happy with the result number four i truly enjoyed and i'm kind of just dipping my toe into it's a fillers and but i have to put disclaimer right here right away it could be extremely dangerous procedure to do yourself at home so i do not recommend to anyone to do it at home always seek a help of professional nevertheless i did on my chin and kind of my jawline I'm very very happy I did a little bit on my cheeks just a little bit touch up and that's about it but as I said with the fillers you will see an immediate improvement if they are done somewhat okay and I'm really happy with what I did then I want to talk about uh, skin boosters and uh, I use several different skin boosters they all work well because often I receive a question, what is the best? It's you have to preach. There is no answer because we all have a different skin type. Um, you know, we all either older or younger. You know, we have different body metabolism. So it just depends how your body metabolizes these um, products. So I would say you just simply have to try it. There is no any other way around. You just simply have to try it. They all work they all work but one thing i have to tell you with the skin boosters it's pretty much ongoing process and if i could give you an example somewhat understandable example totally <laughs> not relatable to um, the skin boosters it's pretty much if you need to do touch up of your um, ingrown roots for your hair like you know you did your roots your hair look nice you don't see any grays or anything like that but then in three weeks you start seeing like you know grays are growing and you need to do another touch up so it's pretty much with the skin boosters you did the skin boosters like you know that your skin looks much much better in the next few weeks and then in four or five weeks you feel that the skin is getting drier again and you need to do another booster so that's why they say it's a skin boosters like you know it's pretty much lasts for at least a month and then you need another skin booster 
So, but still, anyway, I highly recommend it. And my least favorite procedure, I would say, it's uh, uh, lipolytics because um, I used lots of lipolytics, honestly, guys, on my body. And uh, I mean, they work. To be honest, they do work, but very, very, very slow. And the progress is so slow and so minimalistic, so it's very hard to see. And that's why mostly people get extremely disappointed with uh, lipolytics because you don't see immediate result. And if you see result, let's say at best in six months, it's microscopic improvement. So that's why they always say just do it on the double chin or something because the area is so tiny. So then maybe you're going to see some tiny improvements. Let's see if you want to do it on your thighs because thighs have so much fat. At least my thighs have so much fat. To see improvement in that area, oh my gosh, like it may take like several years and proper exercise and diet, etc. And uh, but once again, you know, you have to know where you are and you know in the in your life i would say because let's say myself right now i'm almost like in my mid 50s and i'm you know going through a menopausal process so during this time when you are in your mid 50s and especially if you're going through a menopausal process you know losing weight it's almost unheard of you know you're quite opposite you're actually gaining weight and i'm actually in a position right now of losing weight and i'm so grateful but this is mostly all because of the satsanda and i'm highly highly recommend guys but you have to be patient and i would say it's um it's a tool but it's not a magic wand so it means you have to put an effort not to overeat it will help but you still have to put an effort to not overeat or not overconsume some food. So I really also cautiously trying to remind myself, don't overeat, don't overeat, don't overeat. So I hope guys that you enjoy this kind of, you know, chatty conversation. In fact, I'm considering maybe one day do some kind of almost like a live chat. Um, if I could manage, um, to put something like that please put your comments below if you would like to um, interact uh, you know in the live chat because i have to see if i will be able to put something because if i'm gonna do live chat through uh, my cell phone which is easier you know to do then i need also an additional computer so that i will be able to read your comments because on the cell phone you know with my glasses i literally won't be able to read any comments and then the comments are going really fast and uh, you know English is not my first language so maybe I'm not as fast as somebody who is native English speaker but anyway put your comments below if you want me to do um, a live chat uh, show so that's about it guys uh, for today I hope that you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give me likes and I will see you on my next one bye bye